Hey guys, welcome back to Motor Rides. My name is Vipul and today we have with us the all new BMW 320LD, the Grand Limousine. Yes, BMW had introduced this car to the Indian market last year, but now they have updated it. And this right here is the new 320LD in the M Sport trim. Now, the M Sport is coming as a standard to India and it will be available in both the petrol engine and the diesel engine. This right here, is the diesel one and we're going to tell you all about this car in this video now let's get started with the exterior and what the changes are to the exterior of this car now like i told you this comes with the m sport package and you will see that this car has a lot of piano black finishes piano black uh, accents at various places but what you will notice now is this new headlamp cluster the headlamp cluster has changed completely it it does come with the bmw led and it also comes with the drls that also uh, double up as turn indicators also you will notice that the grille has now slimmed down it is also finished in satin silver instead of chrome that was on the earlier grand limousine and here instead of a single bar you get two bars and that also has a satin silver finish the grill is active and whenever air intake is required, these slits will open up. Now, if you come down to the bumper, uh, there is this new piano black finish and this honeycomb grill that has been integrated. It looks more sporty, gives it a look kind of a sporty look. And the air intakes also are now finished in piano black. This is all part of the M Sport package. Here you have the parking sensor. Uh, you get one here, one here, one here and one here so those were the changes on the front now let's move to the side and see what's different there now coming to the side uh you will notice that the car is a little longer it's 4823 millimeters long which is about 4 mm longer than the outgoing car but that does not have any effect on the wheelbase the wheelbase is same at 2196 mm which is much longer than the standard 3 series now, on the sides, what you will notice immediately are these M Sport wheels. Uh, you get these five spoked wheels uh, finished in piano black and satin silver, and you also get the M badging on it. Other than that, there are not a lot of changes. Um, like the standard M uh, Sport package, you get a black satin silver finish right here instead of the chrome that you used to get on the standard. Or grand limousine now let's come to the rear that's where things have changed a little bit so coming to the rear uh, you see a reworked bumper uh, here you have the indent for the reflectors you get the parking sensors here 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 and one over there and you get this nice diffuser which looks really really nice and gives the car an overall sporty look along with these exhaust tips both of them are functional right here you have the reversing camera bmw logo and the 320 ld badging so overall a very very clean look at the rear now um, to access the boot uh, you just can kick right here and the boot will open up and this is a massive 480 liters of boot so and the loading lip is also uh, pretty small so you can shove in luggage very very easily you also get a space saver rear wheel so instead uh, so in case of a puncture you can have a spare wheel anyway but these are run flat tires so you would not have to worry about that but in case you need a spare wheel it has been provided also the boot is powered and it can be operated with the click of a button uh, let's take a look at the key now the key comes with uh, standard functions uh, like lock unlock and boot open and this one right here is programmable so uh, you will have to log in with your bmw id and configure this key to do whatever functions like open the windows and stuff like that so you get comfort access so you can just come close to the car and pull the knob and the car will unlock itself and you can open now i'm coming to the rear seat because this is the highlight of the grand limousine as you can see there's a lot of space at the rear for a rear seat passenger and it's a very very comfortable seat to be in 
Now let's take a look at the door panels. Now this leather color that you finish, the, this leather finish that you see here is in the cognac color and you get satin silver door handles. The power window button is also satin silver. A lot of cubby holes and spaces. <coughs> you can store a big bottle right here. On the door sills, you have the M badging. Um, you get it on all four doors. And getting into the rear seat is pretty simple, pretty easy. Very easily, you can get into the rear seat and be seated comfortably. Now, the front driving seat has been adjusted to my driving position. My height for reference is 5'9". And even after that, you will see that there is a lot of knee room, ample knee room, ample space to keep my feet at or oh, there's ample headroom as well and people who are approximately six foot tall will be able to seat here very comfortably without scraping the head to the roof you get a nice central armrest uh, with cup holders and these are adjustable so you can keep your favorite beverage right here and you can shut them and you also have some storage space right here um you also get these cushions as standard. So uh, if you want to take a nap, you just want to relax, you have a very comfortable seating position. My only complaint here is that the incline of the seat could have been adjustable or it could have been, uh, the angle could have been a little lower so that you would get a more comfortable seating position. Other than that, this uh, rare cabin has everything you need. You also get rare AC vents right here with your own controls and you also get two type c charging ports right here now let's move to the front and tell you what you get in the front seat now the front seats are also very comfortable and they're typical bmw and as expected they are very comfortable everything is nicely laid out and everything is quite reachable uh, for the driver as well as the uh, co-driver side uh, now, you, right here, what you will see right off the bat is this M uh, steering wheel. You get the M badging right here. You have all the controls here to operate this infotainment screen. Plus, you get the paddle shifters and you also have the controls for your peripherals like lights, the wiper and everything else. Uh, talking about the door right here, you have this nice soft touch leather. Again, finished in cognac leather. Um, you have all the controls for the door knobs, the power windows. And this has also been finished in uh, satin silver. You get two memory seats as well. Now, speaking of the changes for the new Grand Limousine, what you will notice as soon as you enter the cabin is this massive screen. It's a one single piece screen like you're seeing on, this, on these new age BMW cars. All of them are getting a single screen just like this one. And this has now been updated with BMW OS 8. It comes with a lot of more functionality, a uh, lot of ease of access, uh, so to speak. And this right here is a 14.9 inch infotainment screen and the MID is 12.3 inches. The resolution on both of them is really, really good. Now, one highlight of this screen is that you get all your menus on a single screen. So you don't have to uh, jump into apps to, you know, uh, navigate through different menus and systems so you have the map right here you have your android auto or apple carplay right here telephone connectivity right here you have the bmw personal assistant so that's the voice command and right here you can get into the uh, car controls and settings you have the weather uh, you have a route preview right here traffic conditions and all of that is on the single screen so you can just swipe and or you can use this navigation dial to access the screen and the menus but if you want if when you parked safely you can get into the apps and you have all these options there are a lot of uh, options right here and we would have to make a separate video to show you all of that but yes it has now been updated and there's a lot of new stuff happening right here uh, also talking about the mid Right here, you will see new graphics and a new design altogether. You see this hexagon. When you change the modes, this also changes. So this is what it looks like in the eco mode. This is what it looks like in the comfort mode. And this is what it looks like in the sports mode. However, I 
like the for my personal preference i like the dials uh this is uh somewhat different but yes uh, there, there will be a lot of people who like this new design so you have the speedo right here the taco right here and all the other information uh right here so everything the colors are nice they pop up and everything is very easily visible also when you change the mode the themes on uh, the infotainment screen will also change so this is what it looks like in the eco mode this is what it looks like in the comfort mode and this is what it looks like in the sports mode so yes uh, something uh, different something new uh, it looks kind of vibrant uh, but it does not serve any function per se other than that the next big change is the the drive selector is now being changed to this one right here and preferably i i used to like the old one but okay keeping in touch with the modern times uh this is also very nice it's very easy to use very intuitive and you won't you will get used to if you're coming from a bmw you will get used to it after a a uh, couple of drives that you do uh right here you have the wireless uh charging dock and you get two cup holders along with a 12 volt charging socket right here and the armrest also opens up for some room to save your knickknacks there's a type c port right here and it's also illuminated other than that the sunroof is a little bigger i feel it's a tad uh, bigger than the older car also uh, typical of bmw you get nice soft touch uh, materials right here uh, you get a nice uh, piano black finish satin silver finish right here uh, you have these nice uh, ac vents that are hidden right here and the seats also are very very comfortable they hold you in place and overall everything the, the upholstery is very tastefully done so that's the interior of the new bmw grand limousine uh, you will find similar uh, materials in the petrol version as well but the colors will be different so this right here is the cognac uh, what you see on this car there's also an option with black and mocha and there is a all black option as well so if you want something sporty something that looks sporty you can go for the all black interiors now let's take the car for a spin and tell you how it drives now as you can see there is a smile plastered on my face and that's because of this powerful 1995 cc engine that is putting out 190 bhp of power and 400 newton meters of torque and i don't need to tell you how punchy uh, this engine is how powerful it is and how responsive it is just a small tap and the engine will pick up speed now the start the torque comes in at 1750 rpm so you don't have to rev the engine a lot uh, before you get the power it, a slight tap and the power starts coming in so overall if you like to drive you are going to love uh being in this car and you're going to love driving this car now as you saw the car is longer so when the car becomes longer it means that it goes lower so the ground clearance on this car is 135 mm and as you navigate the speed bumps even the biggest of speed bumps it can take in its stride very very easily it does not have to struggle a lot you don't have to maneuver the car uh you don't have to make an extra maneuver to you know go over the speed bumps only the very bad ones the very uh high ones you will have to navigate carefully and go past them but the chances of the belly scraping the speed breakers the speed bumps is very very low now the car also gets the ZF 8 speed steptronic uh gearbox and which we uh, have been fans of for a very very long time and BMW thought that what's not broken oh and uh we are very happy that that hasn't changed it is very responsive the shifts are quick and if you want manual control you always have the paddle shifters and you can easily shift gears up and down you can hold gears for as long as you want in the sport mode so putting it in the sport mode the engine becomes more responsive the steering becomes more heavy so yes so if you want to enjoy 
driving you can put it in the sport mode and have a lot of fun also now the car also comes with something called cbc or cornering brake control which prevents the tail of the vehicle from going off track when you are braking heavily in the corner and also as you can see when you're going on in corners you're taking those turns very sharp turns the car is planted it is stable and you will always be very confident and know where what direction the car is going in the steering inputs are very precise very quick there is no artificial feel whatsoever so in short you're going to have a lot of fun when you're driving this car now the claimed fuel efficiency is 19.61 uh, kilometers to the liter and in our testing uh, we we drove it for a couple of hundred kilometers and we saw that in the city uh, in the eco pro mode you will get anywhere between 12 to 13 kilometers to the liter and on the highway you can get somewhere around 17 to 18 kilometers to the liter which is very respectable for a 2 liter diesel mill and the kind of power it puts out the weight puts out the power the fuel economy numbers are very very good so yeah it's it's frugal uh, and it's going to save you a lot of money on fuel also now while driving in the sport mode you can um, or the eco pro mode you can configure how you want the steering response to be it can it can be in comfort or sport uh, the drive train you can select from comfort and sport transmission can be selected from comfort and sport and what you can't change is the suspension however the suspension setup that is on this car is a uh, quite uh, it's not i won't say it's stiff but it is very very comfortable in the city and even when you're driving at high speeds it is very very stable there's not a lot of vertical movement which is typical of a bmw car and that's what we expect from the 3 series so no surprises there it's still very planted you're still very comfortable you you still enjoy driving the car so that was our driving experience with the 320d grand limousine and i must say that last time when we drove this car it did impress us a lot uh with its driving dynamics with its features and the sheer comfort that it offers in the cabin and this one too has not disappointed us at all now there are some tacky changes that uh have been made in the car but those are subjective and some people would like it some people would not uh but uh someone who is a true blue bmw fan would still like some things that that would have remained unchanged like the dials on the screen uh, the drive selector uh to name a few other than that the car looks really really good it does turn a lot of heads and it does command the attention and it does sure does deserve it also um like the last time this is still one of the best driving cars in the segment now uh it is placed somewhere close to the uh, the mercedes uh, 200d and also the audi a4 the audi a4 uh, is a bit cheaper than what this will be now we don't know the official prices of this car yet but the older version is priced at 57.7 lakhs that's for the m sport variant of uh, m sport petrol variant but the 320d is priced at around uh, 56 lakhs um but we don't know the, what the prices will be because now m sport package is coming up as standard so we expect the prices to be between 58 and 60 lakhs so even considering that price point Uh, it is still cheaper than the mercedes but it is more expensive than the audi but if you want a complete experience you want a luxury car uh, you want a long uh, wheelbase you want a nice spacious rear seat this is the car that you should go for let us know what do you think about the car and what do you think about the new changes and features in the comments below this is vipul signing off i will see you in the next video until then rev hard rev free and drive safe